What's happening, Kim Folk? Welcome back to the channel, Knuckles TV. Knuckles coming at you. Well, today, man, we got a little something for you. Today, we're going to be working on Sky, uh, the wife's Jeep. So, if y'all don't know, man, this here is my wife's Jeep. It's a 2017 Jeep Wrangler JKU. And um, so far, man, we've done some little, a little stuff to it. We have actually put a uh, three and a half inch lift on it, Rubicon Express lift. Uh, with some 20 by 12 and a half t uh, wheels and then we've gone 35 by 12 and a half tires the Toyo RT open country tires so uh, today what we are doing we've done a little bit here and there on this thing man but uh, to make it her own but today what we're doing Kim folk is we are actually installing some flat fenders on this Jeep so we're gonna be taking these big ugly things off and installing flat fenders here so this one here is the uh, is the left rear so this is the style she uh, she likes this is the style we went for so we will be installing these today these here Kim folk are just eBay uh, fenders we bought them off of eBay uh, me and the son me and my son babushka went ahead and went in together man ended up purchasing these and uh you know as far as quality man they look they look decent um you know they're they're not too too light but they're not real heavy uh they're made out of the the metal is not really thin and uh i guess they're powder coated so um for the price a little over 100 bucks for the whole set you can't beat it went to a four wheel parts man and uh I was looking there and they wanted three to four hundred dollars for a set uh, similar to this. So, of course, name brand, but uh, who's worried about that, right? So, uh, especially if you're on a budget build. <laughs> so, what we're doing, we're going to install these today. And uh, let me show you what we ended up or what we're going to use to install these flat fenders here. <laughs> The fenders come with these uh, threaded inserts, these button head bolts, lock washers, flat washers. What we're going to use today is we're using a 10 millimeter socket in order to um, take off the fender liners that are on the Jeep now. Uh, these here, this here is to put these button head bolts on this Allen head. I'm not sure what size it is because this is homemade, but we're going to use our impact went and bought a auto trim and molding tool set just to help with the uh, little Christmas tree uh, push plastic push pins or whatever they're called uh, to take those off so we don't destroy them and then to install these um, threaded inserts we bought this threaded insert riveter kit so it's cool man you just hook it on there tighten it down a little bit squeeze it and it smashes these to where they don't come out of the hole that you insert them in so and then that way you have something to thread your bolts to so this here this here we all got from uh we got from harbor freight man so you know cheap stuff cheaper you know what i mean so but uh it'll get the job done right so uh i guess that's it babushka you ready all right let's get started y'all all right ken folks so what we're gonna do first is take out these 10 millimeter bolts that are underneath the fender you got one two three and i believe there's one in there four so we'll pop those off and then we're gonna pop all these little i think they're called christmas tree pins or whatever right and uh we'll use those uh trim removal tools that we bought which is uh there'll be one here 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 there there and i think that's it and then this bolt here too all right so let's do that two right here so 
So kinfolk, try not to destroy these too much because uh, you will be reusing these if you're going to put your uh, stock fender liners back in. Also, kinfolk, we got to remove the uh, plug for this marker light. So that is right in there. So we'll disconnect that as well. All right, kinfolk, so here's the uh, fender liner. Uh, hold it up, Bubba. So what you have to do too is on this side over here, uh, we use that uh, trim tool remover and actually pop these rivets off because this actually goes inside the fender right here. So we pop that off as well. Um, we're able to pull the fender liner out. Go ahead, Bubba. You just pull that joker out. Set it to the side for right now. We're gonna reuse that as well. And then here, Here's your plug for your light. Oh, he pulled the whole thing out, bulb and all. And then uh, this here, it was attached to the fender as well. So you gotta pop that little clip out too. So now, uh, all your bolts are gone. Everything's out of there. The only thing to do now is to pull it. So these clips here is what's holding the fender to the body. So uh, they say just rip it off of there. So Bubba looks like he wants to try to take it off easy, but uh, you don't have to reuse those and Pretty sure you'll just have to uh, if you want to end up putting your fenders back on later You just have to get some of those clips from the uh, from the dealership But let me see if Bubba can do it with this tool or if it's just easier to rip it off Either just to rip it, just pull it off of there. <sighs> just take her and give her a pull. So then, like I said, these clips will stay in there. Uh, he's going to pop them out with that tool there. And then uh, we'll move on. All right, can folks, so we pulled this out, but what we're going to do is disconnect it from the... Uh, here, hold it. The actual harness right here. Just like that. And we'll put that back on the fender. So we'll put the light back in there just so we can have it. Um, I know some states, man, you have to have the side marker light. Um, so if you're gonna put that back in there, what they usually do is they take, take this piece out this piece here this metal piece and they install it back on the Jeep with zip ties or whatever so you have your marker light uh, tucked off once you put the fenders in it'll be tucked off back in here somewhere so but we gonna run with no marker light and see how far we can get away with it until we get pulled over for it so let's do it all right Kim folks so we got both front fenders off already uh, let's go ahead and move to the back Basically, all you got is just these pins little Christmas tree chingareras uh, Here and up here and stuff so uh, We'll take that off and uh, And then the same do the same thing you just take it and pull it away from the Jeep uh, We won't be using reusing the rear fender liner. So um, it's gonna stay connected to the to the bumper itself So we won't have to pop these little things off uh, So let's go ahead and do it So Kim folk these are a little bit harder for some reason they're real soft up here, so it's not grabbing it real good So uh, we're just gonna fucking rip it off of there go Bubba There you go. So now we'll go ahead and pull these off. For some reason they wouldn't they weren't coming off very easy. All right, Kim folk. Front fenders off. Rear fenders are off. So, what we're going to do now is just give her a little uh quick splishy splash. Uh since it's dirty right here, we're going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Uh we're just going to use water and uh just to get some of this caked off dirt. So let me do that. I just watched this bitch yesterday. <laughs> Let me do that and we'll get back with you. All right, Kim, folks, got all the fenders off. We washed it a little bit. 
Got it all cleaned up in there. We are gonna cut this bracket off, so we don't need it. Um, so we're gonna take it off, we're gonna cut it off, so we'll do that here in a bit. But uh, Babushka is gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, threaded certs in. Uh, Bolt certs or whatever the fuck they're called. So, <clears throat> what is it? We're gonna put these in. This is what it comes with if you don't get one of those tools to uh, put the certs in. But man, that looks like it'd be a, a booger. So, go out and get you one of those. I think it was like 10 is. bucks or something. I don't know. It was cheap. All right, so let's do it. All right, Kim folk, we had to hammer it in a little bit because I think the paint's making the hole a little bit smaller than what it needs to be. So, you first one's in, first one's tight. Let's continue. There it is, Kim folk. Got the inserts in. This side's all done. Just gotta put the fender on. Babushka's over here doing the other side. So like I said, we just got a rubber mallet, man, and had to pound them in for a minute because I the, think the paint's just making it a little too thick. Just give her a couple taps. It's ready to go.